The Corps of Engineers finished its last major hurricane protection project following Hurricane Katrina this week. Now it's a big milestone just in time for hurricane season, but investigative reporter David Hammer says he has found some cause for concern and that doesn't sound good. Well, it's, it's interesting, Natalie. The big work to improve the levees and flood walls after Hurricane Katrina is mostly done, but the work of maintaining and operating the hurricane protection system goes on. And the grassroots group levees.org has some major questions about whether that work has been up to standards. $14.6 billion in flood protection improvements since Hurricane Katrina. Night and day difference between 2005 and today. Really, every day since Hurricane Katrina, the system has gotten better. Colonel Michael Clancy of the Army Corps of Engineers says they're keeping close tabs on the renovated flood walls and levees to make sure they're maintained properly by local levee districts. We inspect them every year, provide a periodic inspection uh, to see if they're meeting the federal design standards. But levees.org founder Sandy Rosenthal says she had to fight the Corps just to see the inspection ratings. And when she got them, they did not inspire confidence. The fact that the levy maintenance was given a grade of minimally acceptable should have been made public. That's right, all levy sections in New Orleans got the middling rating of minimally acceptable. That's worse than the acceptable or even outstanding grades they got before some of them collapsed in Hurricane Katrina. Most of the levies we inspect get minimally acceptable. That might not sound good, but that just means there's something that needs to be fixed or improved. Could be as simple as running, could be a serious problem. NOLA.com reported the Corps rejected its request for the full inspection reports. A lawyer for the Corps told the website the reports were not public because they somehow were used for law enforcement purposes and, if disclosed, could expose the system to what the lawyer called levy attacks. The ratings alone are available online on the Corps' National Levies Database. So that's a national effort uh, initiated post-Katrina to help inform the public nationwide about their, their risk if you live behind a levy. But those ratings still don't include the reasons behind the risk. And Rosenthal says she wasn't even aware they were available online. Now, Colonel Clancy says a new, more complete National Levy database will be available starting next Wednesday. That site will have executive summaries of the inspection reports. We will put a link to the new site with my story at WWLTV.com. Natalie? David, thank you.